seeing a zener across this. So I'm going to unhook our friendly neighborhood zener so he's no longer in the picture. Still seeing this. It's getting hot rapidly. Mm. All right, so I must be dissipating uh, more than more than uh, an amp on this power supply. Uh, the zener's disconnected, so. Um, Let's see, that's coming into 10 ohm resistor. And that's going to the output to everything else. So, if it, if it had gotten quieter, I would have said fine. Mm. But it's, um, it's actually a little worse. So I don't know if, what, what to say on this. It's not, it's, it, 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 but yet when I hook up a battery to it, I'm fine. Mm. Um, but we've got, yeah, we've got the, uh, this running a 9 volt battery. And it's quite loud, and uh, there's no hum. Uh, on the power supply, there's a, a, a large amount of hum, and uh, the, we, uh, answer to the question as far as uh, um, some of the uh, other factors is that it's not loud enough so um, I'm going to put the Zener diode back I don't that's a, that Zener diode will get quite hot during operation directly to the battery positive And um, and then we're going to uh, go from here to um, this lead right here, and then hundred of a one tenth of an amp. Not much. Well, under the circumstances, uh, the 7809 got unusually hot real fast, so I'm not sure why the, uh, uh, the, why the situation is there. Um, it may be that, that I don't have a heat sink on it, and that's not helping any, but it's 100 MA. At 100 MA... See, I don't have a regulated power supply here, do I? We thought the bridge rectifier might be the problem, so instead of the selenium bridge, we made up a silicon bridge, wired it in. The voltage was a little higher. It was a tiny bit louder, but uh, we still had the hum problem. And uh, the hum problem disappears when we use a battery. As well as low volume. As low as, low as the low volume goes away, too. Uh, we have been, uh, we did change capacitors in the, uh, in the power supply, and, um, the, um, power supply ratings, uh, are such that, uh, um, they're a little, the voltage seems to be a little low on the main filter capacitor, but the, um, the problem is still there. We're getting this residual hum, and, um, this hum goes down as soon as we turn down the output volume so we know that it's being picked up by the preamplifier and being sent out the door. Um, we, uh, we did check the transformer to make sure that uh, both windings were running and, um, and that it was set for 115 volts because this is an international one that can be set for 230 volts as well. And um, that was not the case. 
uh, there, everything was normal, uh, nothing was uh, out of line. Uh, so now we're um, a little bit confused here as to what's going on, and um, uh, you know the uh, possibility of uh, uh, this being a potential problem with uh, your use in a studio is uh, rather larger because the hum is uh, is going to be there even when you're not playing anything. It's not something that only shows up when uh, something is being played. So we're going to reconstruct the power supply back together again and, um, and unfortunately uh, the end result of this is that the problem seems to be the power supply itself and um, um, the proximate drain, drain on um, this particular unit seems to be about 100 MA that does not include the uh, the pilot light um, we have the pilot light set up uh, for um, uh, 9 volts AC that's also used by the pedal the expression pedal and uh, the um, um, the knee pad and that's uh, that's affecting the outcome there I'm gonna try to get this in here without going crazy I have to get to the right angle to do it so you can even watch this see if I can get that in just right there we go ah there we go the right other the top almost. <laughs> what's that you probably go right over the top of that I probably could go over the top it's uh, a little shy pulling the wire up from the bottom but that's the way they did it and that one's hooked up uh, we're, we're hooked back up again uh, the way this is uh, and then we're going to plug this back in uh, to show you the level of home we're having um, a number of capacitors and the cards and, and, and that were giving you some distorted notes as you said or sour notes uh, they were all changed in the cards and in the preamp and that's the hum that you have we can't seem to get rid of it and the volume isn't as high as it should be it's a, it's, but it's better than nothing tone booster does not seem to affect the volume uh, and um, like I said I, it, it, it does appear that um, there is a, a situation um, with the power supply itself that does not prevent the, um, um, the volume from coming up as high as it could be. <laughs> 